Hi guys, I'm just going to talk you through how to take your COVID tests at home. So your test kit box will look like this and then inside the first thing that you want to do if you turn to you'll find this step-by-step -step guide for COVID testing in the box and step one it says prepare your test area and check your test kit contents so we're just going to do that first. So in the test kit you should have these white sachets which contain the test itself, these long cotton swabs, seven of each thing, seven test tubes, seven little sachets with uh, testing fluid in them, and seven waste disposal bags, and a white cardboard box with a hole in the bottom left hand corner. You want to clean the area to make sure it's not contaminated by anything, and then you want to wash your hands thoroughly for 20 seconds. So the next thing you want to do is set up your test. So you, you're going to take one of these white sachets, you're going to open it up, and Josh, if you want, just punch in on me a little bit. The test will look like this. So it's got a QR code at the top, it's got the testing strip here, which will be where you see your result, and it's got a well in the bottom, which is where your sample's going to go, which has S next to it. So you want to put that on a flat surface. Then you want to set up your box next to your test. Pop a test tube into the hole so it's standing up. And then take some testing fluid, screw the top off. You can discard that top into your clear waste disposal bag. And then empty the contents of the cleaning fluid, the testing fluid, sorry into the test tube like so and then just pop that into the cleaning bag as well. So now you're all ready to go with your setup. The next step will be to take your swab sample. So you're going to take one of these swabs and you know this bit but I'll just run through it really quickly. I won't do it on myself but as you'll see you would go back of the throat, either side, up the nose, and into the test tube. These things you can just discard into a normal bin because they're not bio waste. So that's the bit that you know. Um, the next section will be processing the swab sample. So this will be the bit that you won't have experienced yet. So you want to take your test tube and you want to rotate the cotton bud 10 times in the bottle, pressing it against the sides and just allowing the fluid to absorb the sample that you've taken from your throat and your nose. So 10 times round, three twists, and then you want to squeeze the cotton bud tight between your fingers through the walls of the test tube and as you pull, so squeezing as you pull the cotton bud up and rotating as you do it, just to squeeze all of the testing sample out of the cotton and into the fluid. So that's your sample there. And then you pop your cotton bud into your waste disposal bag safely like so. The top of the test tube then pushes into the test tube like that. And you now have a little pipette which you can pop. And Josh, if you wanna come and record this, you can just put into the sample well two drops, one, Two. And at this point you want to start a timer for 30 seconds. While you're waiting 30, sec uh, 30 minutes, sorry, so start a timer for 30 minutes at that point. Um, and while you're waiting 30 minutes for that to develop, uh, you want to register your test. So there is a section in the booklet uh, on page 15 on how to do that. You've got a website, www.gov.uk forward slash report hyphen COVID-19 hyphen result. Um, and Trish has also taken some photos uh, which will detail how to do this part of the process. Um, once you have waited for 30 minutes, you will come back to your test and then you can interpret your result. Um, you'll see that the fluid is now absorbing into the line. So that dark purple will fade as the test develops. 
And as you'll see in your booklet, there is a C and a T on the results panel. And if the test is negative, there will be a red line on the C, which stands for control. And if the test is positive, there will be a red line on both the C and the T. And the T stands for test. If there's a red line just on the T, or if there are no red lines, then the test is void and you will have to take another one. Um, but please note, even though a, a line will develop quite quickly on the C, you must wait 30 minutes before the result can be recorded as a negative. Once that's, once that's developed, then you can follow the steps that Trish has detailed with the pictures and on page 15 to record your result.